हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज अंशुल चौहान फ्रॉम एज बिक्स एंड टुडेज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ वी कैन हैंडल द डायनेमिक वेब एलिमेंट्स इन सिलेनियम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द हाई लेवल एजेंडा सो वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी वी विल सी व्हाट इज डायनेमिक वेब एलिमेंट्स देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द डायनेमिक सी एस एस एंड इन लास्ट वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द डायनेमिक एक्सपर्ट्स टू हैंडल द डायनेमिक वेब एलिमेंट्स so the very first question which comes in our mind is what is dynamic web element so the dynamic web elements are the those elements whose ids change every time when you reload your web page or a web page generates automatically sorry a web, ele- a web element generates automatically when a web page gets reloaded so what does it mean in the previous class we have seen every element which is present on a web page should have some kind of id or should have some kind of class or some other html tags okay so sometimes in many on many on many sites on many internet sites uh, sites you will see that uh, id is generating dynamically like uh, the id of particular web element is not fixed it is generating dynamically sometimes you are getting some different id and again you reload the page you are getting the different id and again you reload the page you are getting the different id so in in these particular scenarios we have a challenge suppose we have uh, located a element with a specific id and we we don't know that a site is dy- site have the some kind of dynamic web elements or uh, we even we know that a web element is dynamic so once you uh, execute or script so it will uh, uh, reload it, it will open a new web page so in that web page the particular web element on which you want to perform some action is generating with the new uh, web uh, new web id or new html id so how your html script how your selenium script will able to find it no you will not get the element okay in that case you will get the stale element reference uh, error or no such element uh, found exception in your test scripts so we will see how we can handle these kind of elements whose id or whose classes is generating on run time okay so challenge with the dynamic elements we have already discussed what is the challenge with the dynamic elements so the main challenge with dynamic elements are how to locate these elements because they don't have any fixed locator so we have seen in the previous class how we can uh, how we can use the selenium locators to find a web element we have seen the id we have seen by the class by tag name by partial link text while link text and with cs and and xpath as well so today we will see how we can handle the elip web elements who have the dynamic ids okay so let's see how you can create the dynamic css selectors so we know the css selector structure is like this the tag html tag then a parenthesis then attribute equals to value of that attribute and close the bracket so this is the uh, this is the structure of the or this is the signature of css selectors we have seen this in the previous class if you have missed the uh, missed the previous class previous class then i will provide the link in the description okay in dynamic elements there is always a part of locator which is fixed okay this is something interesting which you should uh, know about in every dynamic element there is always a, a part which is fixed suppose your dynamic id is getting generated so let me take example okay paint so suppose you are generating a id this is my id okay this suppose suppose this is my id Uh, you have written something over here like you can write anything like uh, my id 123456 dynamic suppose we have a id with this name so every time every time the particular dynamic id is generated for any web element in that particular uh, id a, there should be a some kind of uh, fixed part over there like if uh, it doesn't mean if we have the dynamic web element it doesn't mean the whole id would generate dynamically it, no it was it will not be the case because the generator or the web, the html page the algorithm which is generating that particular web uh, the ids for these web elements should have some kind of fixed part okay so in the particular id either the last part should be fixed or fixed part should be in some kind of middle of the id or the starting part of the Uh, id should be fixed 
it will be never case that the whole id is getting generated at runtime if the whole id is getting generated at runtime then there should be some other kind of html elements with uh, which are fixed which could be anything so you can generate the locator with the help of these elements so today we are going to discuss how we can find out the elements which have the generate uh, which have the dynamic ids or dynamic classes okay so let's switch to our agenda so in dynamic id there is always a part of locator which is fixed we need to generate the locator using this fixed part always we will find out that fixed part we will identify that fixed part and we will use that fixed part to generate the locator of that particular web element okay so this is the way how we can use so if the fixed part is starting at starting suppose in your dynamic id your starting part part is fixed then we will use the caret character to identify these kind of elements using css selectors if the fixed part is present at the middle suppose you have some id the left part is uh, dynamic the right part is dynamic but the middle part is fixed so in that case we will use the dollar sign with the css selectors to identify these kind of elements dynamically and suppose if the fixed part is at the end there should be only three only three cases the left part should be dynamic the right part should be dynamic or the middle part should be dynamic okay so if the fixed part is at the end then we will use the asterisk sign to identify the web element using css selectors so how we will modify our css selector uh, using these signs so you can put these signs after the attribute in your css selector to create the locator what does it mean we will put that sign over here like the signature would be like this like this tag bracket attribute equals to value and that sign would come over here either it should be caret character or a dollar or asterisk we have discussed this so we will see how we can generate these kind of web elements okay so let's open a website uh, you can open any website like you can see these kind of scenarios in flipkart you can see these kind of scenarios with the amazon as well where the objects or where the web elements are getting generated at uh, run time so uh, but we are going to discuss about the oepages.com it's an social networking site so we will see how we can uh, generate the web elements dynamically or oh, sorry how we can handle the web elements who is generating dynamically okay so let's find out some web elements over here so let's find out the registration page first name so you can see the id of the registration page like yum registration form underscore first name okay so i don't know that in that particular web element this particular id is dynamic or not it doesn't seems dynamic uh, most most of the time the dynamic id uh, contains the numbers which is generating at run time so but we, we, we can find we can uh, we can evaluate our solution with this particular id as well because there are a lot of characters and there are a lot of possibilities with that particular id so uh, the id is this let me copy this the input field id and paste it over here so the id was this this was the id of my yum registration form underscore first name so this was the id of my registration field so suppose in that suppose we have the starting part fixed suppose we have this part fixed yum registration this part is fixed so how we will generate our web element sorry how we will generate our css selectors so we will put the tag then attribute then we will put caret character and then we will put value so let's see how we will generate for this so the tag is input the attribute is id so the css selector would be like input bracket id so suppose we are we are supposing the starting part part is fixed so we will put the asterisk character and inside the value we will provide the fixed part so we are assuming yum registration is a fixed part so we are putting it over here just a minute and close the braces so we have generated our css selector so to verify this css selector i have uh, shown you the way how we can verify we can uh, select css here and put our 
custom CSS selector is here. So and press enter. So you can see it is actually finding a lot of web elements. It is actually finding eight matching nodes. You can see it is actually finding the eight matching nodes and it is highlighting it. So this is the this is the one. This is the another one. This is the another one. This is the another one. You can see the I am not providing a complete ID inside my locator. I am not providing a registration form underscore first name. I am just providing input ID carrot character yum registration. It means all the IDs, all the IDs which have that particular part fixed in the starting of the web element locator is getting highlighted, is getting identified using that particular CSS selector. Okay, so is that clear? Uh, how we can uh, generate the CSS selector uh, for the uh, dynamic IDs. So we are taking the another example. Suppose we are, uh, uh, suppose you can see, uh, we can see, suppose registration underscore form underscore first. This is my fixed part. So this is the middle yum registration form underscore first. So yum is dynamic and name is dynamic. This is my middle part. So let's try to find out it. Press enter. So I'm not getting anything with this particular CSS selector, but when I replace the correct character with the dollar and I again put enter, I'm still not getting anything. So let me see why we are not getting anything over here. Okay, got it. Actually, I made a mistake. Uh, I swapped these variables, these signs. If the fixed part is in the middle, then we use dollar sign, not the uh, then we use asterisk sign, not the dollar sign. And if the fixed part at the end, then we use asterisk sign. Let me let me fix it. Let me fix it in the slide. So give me a minute. Let me fix it here. If the part is middle, then we use asterisk sign. Asterisk sign. And we use dollar if the part of the fixed part at the end. So this is I made a mistake. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm really sorry for this. So uh, if the fixed part at the starting, then we use caret character. We have seen this. And if the fixed part at the middle, then we use asterisk sign. So let me let, let us see how we can do that. So uh, we again uh, find out our element. So we can see, suppose this registration underscore first, this part is fixed in my dynamic ID. So again, I will generate input bracket ID and what if the fixed part in the middle we will use asterisk sign asterisk equals to and value and put enter okay still not getting oh, what i what, what the input i missed uh, it is i did an type error so you can see it is finding element which is this similar way if the fixed part in the end of the ID suppose this form underscore first name is fixed. So we will put this over here and use the dollar sign. So and you can see it is finding a web element. Okay, if you made any mistake over here like this and press enter again, so I am not getting any element. So put A again here and press element. I am finding the elements. So this is so simple if the web element. Uh, has the ID in which uh, obviously there is there is some kind of fixed part, part over there. So if the fixed part present at the starting, then we use the caret character. If the fixed part is present in the middle or contains some fixed part, it uh, we will use the stress. If the fixed part in the end, then we will use the dollar sign. This is so simple. There is no uh, rocket science in uh, to find out the dynamic elements using CSS selectors. Okay. So the next thing what we are going to see, we will see uh, how we can create the X path for the dynamic web elements. So we have seen how we can create the CSS selector for the dynamic web elements. Now we will see the X path. So I hope you remember, you guys remember what is the signature of the X path. So this is the structure or signature of the X path. Double slash tag at the rate attribute equals to value. So in case of dynamic X path, the structure is changed a bit. We have two methods in XPath to find out or to resolve these kind of problems. The first one is starts with and the second one is contains. So we will use starts with when the fixed part is in the start of the starting of the locator's XPath. Suppose in this web element, 
the m registration form underscore first is always fixed and it comes in the starting then we can use starts with and contains we can use contain any time if the fixed part is in the starting or is it in the end or is it in the middle anywhere the fixed part is present anywhere inside your locator you can use contains there is no hardcore limitation with the contains okay the structure should be like in that case the structure will be changed the structure will be changed in that way in the, you can see in C, in the css selectors we are not changing a structure very much we just put our sign after the attribute it could be dollar it could be asterisk or the caret character but in in xpar the structure is like this the attribute and the value comes inside the bracket and not with, and it will be uh, the the, uh, the equal sign will be replaced with the comma okay and starts with come at the place of the attribute so we can see how we can provide the uh, how we can use the start it starts with so suppose let's uh, put x path over here and put double slash what is our uh, tag it's input input and we will put the bracket starts with we will put the another bracket here at the rate what is my attribute id comma separated single quote what is the fixed part of my id m registration underscore form i think it was this no yeah you can see so suppose take uh, suppose this part is fixed so put it and paste it over here once you press enter so it is highlighting a single element the first name element so you can see double slash tag starts with starts with it's not a start with it it starts with then we put uh, braces at the rate attribute comma our value and we are ident we are able to identify the web elements and we, uh, we i have told you uh, about the contains your fixed part could be anywhere inside your uh, locator it doesn't matter that it is in the starting in the middle or in end so you can use contains anywhere Con so suppose we have replaced the uh, starts with the contains and pr put the press the enter then i am still able to identify the element even i am just providing this much of part in my locator so this is the way how we can generate the x path how we can generate the x path for the dynamic web elements okay use starts with if any fixed part of locator present in the starting and use contains we have discussed this okay so thank you guys this is all for the day so if you have liked the video you can please comment please share my video and please like it okay and be with us we will uh, provide you some advanced tutorial on selenium as well so thank you thanks for the day